What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Fuck it, fuck it. Hey, listen. Last time I have, like, I have an apology for you guys, okay? Um, last time I was using the whole autofocus situation. Yeah, no, mm -mm, no bueno. So today, we're not doing that, okay? But I have had this foundation for probably like two weeks or more, okay? Probably more, actually more. And I was supposed to do a video, okay? It is the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do a, um, and I apologize because it is late tonight. So there's like literally not going to be like an all day testing and I can't even really give you the view like outside per se. Right. I will film like some footage on my phone in front of the lights because the phone I feel like is just more, you know, more like natural than this uh, camera right now. But I will do that. But it's literally like seven o'clock right now. And so what happened was I did a video on Facebook. I did this simple eye look, super duper simple. Like you don't even have to think about it. You could probably do it in your sleep, but I did it on Facebook live. But if you guys want me to share it here, I did save the footage and I was given a lot of tips and tricks that I've been doing. I've been saving it here um, because you guys asked me to bring them on YouTube. So I will do that. If you want me to just comment in the comment section and I will bring it over here. Okay. But this is going to be like an updated powder foundation routine. I do have a disclaimer though. Okay. Um, first of all, happy new year though. Hello. Pause for the cause. Happy New Year. And if you have not joined the fam bam, baby, that's a great thing that you can do in this new year. OK, become a part of the fam bam. All right. So you don't miss an upload, especially with my schedule, because um, I'm trying to get back on a schedule, but it's going to require me to film a bunch of videos at one time. And it just didn't start off this new year, but it's all good. Like because I love kicking it with y'all whenever I kick it with y'all. So just make sure you subscribe. So the shade that I got is 400. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. This is the hydrating one. This is in 400 this is oh my god like this the second bottle or is it the third dear lord like like it's almost gone too don't i have another one oh my gosh i i could have sworn i bought another one like real talk is gone anyway this shade is in 400 too this is the original pro filter foundation here's the thing though i just have to be like all the way real with y'all first let me put on this primer this is the lancome la base pro primer this is like my third bottle it's it's holy grail you know but um so the foundation 400 that is not my um is definitely not my exact color but it's the closest color now i have so many like you know youtube commenting gurus that <laughs> yes i did say that that literally tell me you're 390 go get 390 baby baby bubba baby boo baby girl sis i'm not 390 my youngest daughter is 390 and 390 is definitely it doesn't have enough warmth for me but 400 has too much so i feel like if there was a 395 we would be like homegirls, like we would kick it but there's not a 395 right now as far as i know if it is let me know but um yeah so 400 it kind of gives me a oompa loompa when your husband literally watches you put on your foundation and be like, yo, that's a little orange. Cause you know, he sees me do this. Um, he even knows that it's oompa loompa ish. And so I can make it work. I even have a review, um, where I did the original foundation. I have a review where I did the hydrating foundation. I made them both work because I know what I'm doing and not to like to my own horn, but if you're not going to toot your own horn, who's going to do that? But seriously though, like, not that I, I couldn't make it work because I did, but it's just not my, I have to work a little harder to make it match right because the orange shows through. So if I'm taking a selfie, it does show the orange a little more. So anyway, I'm not trying to like really like go into that too much because I just really want to try this powder foundation. But I had to give you that disclaimer because I don't know how this is going to look now. Have I used this already with foundation as like to set my foundation? I have, but using it solely as a powder foundation by itself, look like what we're going to do today. I have not, but I am going to correct a little bit because I don't care if I'm wearing a powder foundation or not. 
plus I am my face is kind of getting back to normal over here um, and over here guys we had like a little situation but um, yeah we're back on our regimen and so yeah but also in addition to the powder I got like the um, the mocha mommy bronzer and this one is in the shade well it's i think it's the darkest bronzer is it i think it's the darkest one in my shade range of 400. now let me give you a little disclaimer and what i love about the um excuse me guys <laughs> let me give you a little disclaimer about what i love about the whole rihanna collection as i'm looking up this powder foundation so i can give you more details on it but one thing that i do love about it is i like the fact that you can go to the counter or go to Sephora and you can see like if you know your foundation shade, you can get everything you need based on your foundation shade. It kind of takes the guessing, the guesswork out of it when you're wanting to go get complexion items. So once you get matched for your foundation, um, it, you pretty much know where to go from that, right? Based on that number, you know what bronzer to buy. Based on that number, you know what concealer to get. Based on that number, you know what contour sticks or whatever to get. So I honestly, or I can honestly say that I love that about the whole Fenty Beauty by Rihanna collection. Once you've had that, you've gotten your initial complexion color picked out, everything else is easy breezy. Well, it's not cover girl, but you get me. <laughs> Anyway, let me type this bad baby in. Let's let's go. Actually, let's go to Sephora. I was gonna say let's go to Ulta, which I don't even I don't think it's at Ulta. Nope, it's only at Sephora. So we're gonna go into Sephora and we're gonna type it in, and I am gonna give it to you like they give it to me. So what we're looking for is the there it is. It is called the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Now, I am not on the PR list, so I definitely went and purchased this myself. It is $36 for the compact, and I do like that that is affordable, right? Because there are some higher end uh, products that are more than that. It looks like there's about um, 50 shades, but don't quote me, girl. No, but I think it's uh, roughly about 50 shades. So yeah, 380, 385, 390. Do they have a 395? Nope, see, it's a 390 and go straight to 400. So anyway, there are about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 more shades after my complexion shade. That's pretty dope. And there are loads of them prior to mine. So like big ups for the like shade range, which we know is a great thing. It is a light as air powder foundation that gives you light to full coverage with a soft matte finish. Okay. Medium coverage. So I'm, I'm wondering if it's buildable. If it's medium to full or if it's just considered medium, we're going to try that today. Um, the finish is matte. It's a pressed powder. How to use it. Prep before applying. Be sure to moisturize your skin. I always moisturize my skin when I come on, just so you guys know. Even though you don't see that take place, it happens. Okay. It's Aveeno. And I have that in my skincare book too. After moisturizing, apply your favorite primer and let it set for best results. So we've already been talking and letting the primer set. Okay. Then use the included sponge to build to your desired coverage for a flawless blurred finish. Okay. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna recommends the powder puff setting brush 170 plug girl plug so separately for light coverage for medium to full coverage apply it using a kabuki brush which is sewed separately now we are going to do just that mm -hmm. but it's not it's not by um rihanna this is actually by morphe and it's one of my favorite brushes the looser the brush the lighter the coverage right i tend to use a more dense brush because it does apply more product and it does give me more of a like a it gives me more product on there um rihanna's way Apply on top of your pro filter liquid foundation. So separately for added coverage on the go. That's what I do. Um, I put it on top of a foundation, but because this is considered a foundation, I'm going to rock it by itself. But just know, just know that's not how I rock it. I'm just doing this for the video sake. But before we do anything, we, we ain't got a lot of kick it. I'm going to correct because um, let's just like, let's talk about this, baby. Let's talk about that and that. No, seriously, though, I got to take care of this because this in real life, in real life, I'm not playing games. 
I correct in real life. So I'm going to correct like I would do. This is my powder foundation routine. I don't just throw the powder on and go about my business. That's not what I do. So I got to keep it real and keep it true to how I do. All right. So because I have some situations going on over here, I'm going to place a dib a dab, but it's corrector on here. And I have a review on this too. This is the makeup forever corrector. Well, it's really a concealer, but it's in the shade 51. So I use it as corrector. I'm going to take this makeup fixer. This is how you improvise boo. And I'm just going to wet this. That's just how I'm going to wet it. So it's semi damp. It's not really damp. Like I would like it to be, but we're just going to use that. I might actually start on this girl. <laughs> I might actually do this. This wasn't too shabby. Let me a dib a dab a do ya. That actually is pretty good. This is a light refreshing mist that keeps makeup in place all day long. Um, so this will also keep my stuff in place. So I'm just blending this out right here. And I, I use this to set my makeup, but I don't really use it for my concealer. This is what the shade looks like. Now, what I'm going to do is I will show you it side by side. My Holy Grail Urban Decay um, Stay the Fix. No, Stay Naked the Fix 70YW. These are what they look like together. So, yes. uh Oh, yes. The Fenty does have a little more um, warmth to it. And I'm okay with that because it's a powder. So I feel like I could work with that. I, I, I pray I could work with that girl. I'm going to, I'm just going to like put it on there and I'm going to see how this side looks just with this sponge. Okay. I was like, does it have a smell? So I'm rubbing it in there, but I'll have, you know, I will not be using the sponge again. Cause I don't like to do that. Yeah. It does have some redness to it, but that ain't bad. And y'all see my corrector didn't, didn't cover up my spots all the way. So not bad, but yeah, it, it, it does give me redness, but the thing is, so does the foundation. The foundation gives me a red too. And I need to set that with that concealer. I need to set that with another color, but you see how it is kind of red, but I can make it work. Let me do this real quick. Let me do my little Graftobian before I get started. Whenever you put a liquid or a cream, you got to set that. This is my holy grail. It's the real deal. Holy feel. This is the Morphe E1 and I am going to pack it on, pack it on, pack it on. So let's see. Honestly, that sponge is not bad, but let's put it up here and see how it does me. It is definitely medium coverage. I don't feel like it is like super full, but I'm trying to see what we could do about that. Cause y'all know, oops, cause y'all know I'm generous with foundation and that don't, that don't change just cause I use a powder. Now I have seen people actually put their foundation on like this with a beauty sponge. I have never done that. I usually use a, um, I usually use a brush, but I wonder if it would give me like this different vibe, but it is giving me like this flawless look. Like if I did not want to do liquid and all I wanted to do was like put on some corrector and go my way. I just have to blend it around this area cause it does give me like that, that orangeness, but this is really nice. I feel like though with this powder, I gotta be like, Oh, and then we need like, I feel like I need to go in though. And I feel like I still didn't put a dent in this daggone thing. Like I like still the FB is like literally still there. Like I feel like you will get a lot of use out of this thing. Cause I'm digging like this y'all. Y'all see my brush. Like I'm digging in there and now I see some of the powder pick up when I circulated in there. Okay. But, oh, I like that. And then just, okay. Yes. Yes. That's how I will do it, honey. Like that. So when you turn it a little bit, it allows the powder to break up. I don't know if y'all can see that on top. It allows the powder to break up and then get all that good powder and mm, pack it on. I'm in love with this contour right here. Now this, I wish that there was one that wasn't as red, but I ain't mad at it either, but like I can work with it. So I'm just going to take this brush. This is my Sedona lace brush. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't know if it's the best to use with this powder by itself since the powder has so much orange working with it. But when I get the nose though, when I get the nose though, like watch it just it, girl, Huh? Huh? Did, huh? Did you say, what, did you say something? Ooh! So I'm going to put like a little bit of blush. Might as well go on with it. I'm going to go, we're going to go with Dahlia. 
put a little bit of blush all right just break up that little orange situation happening all right and then i'm gonna put just a little bit right there literally a dip it up a do yeah and the truth of the matter is i do not really like high maintenance um makeup so um I, i'll play with it here and there i'll probably stick to using it on top of my foundation because i feel like it works better there so now i'm just gonna do a little bit of highlighting and then we go with this and get your rings on get your lip gloss popping this is a very fall appropriate chocolate brown color it's called keeping it real you can find it on cqcosmetics.com hey hey so that is how it looks like i'm all you all in my grill you can even see that little situation trying to come over here but the foundation looks really good i just wanted to give you guys some up close and personal action i'm not mad at this powder foundation yes this is the final look with this foundation usually when i do liquid foundation i do make sure to cover this area a little more with that hyperpigmentation i didn't go over that as much but i am not mad at this foundation like literally I would go out like this. Like this would be a, this is a great look, uh, not liquid. This is a great powder foundation. I ain't mad at it. It's just as good as my Urban Decay. Only thing is this has a little more red, but just thank you for being a part of the fan bam. Thank you for hanging in there. Thank you for um, joining the fan bam. If you haven't, this is, is definitely a place of beauty and fun. Okay. In an unusual way in in my way. Okay. So that is it. You guys have an awesome, but less day. And I am no longer going to say I'll see you sooner than you think but i'll see you soon all right bye everywhere coffin this is key you know what i mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty i don't need no Benz, lexus or a range rover just give your girl a bomb seeky beauty makeover